Hello guys, welcome to the video. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. So the guitar body came from Roser Guitars. Uh, Roser Guitars is from North Carolina. His name is Michael, really nice guy. It took me 30 days to receive my guitar body. I did the binding, so he, he just left the uh, edges for me. And the uh, neck came from Stratosphere. This came with the uh, serial number and it's really authentic because as I checked the uh, serial number, this is the guitar that came out. And it is a Fender Original 60s Jazzmaster. So this was the uh, guitar, a 2011 Fender Jazzmaster hollow body made in Japan. Believe it or not, that price that you see on that reverb listing is half of the price of my replica build. And plus, I didn't really install the rhythm circuit, master bridge, and the tone knob. So here I already stained it with natural stain with an extra yellow tint front and back. After 48 hours of drying time with the stain, I use a regular Craftsman rotary tool with a precision router base by Stu Mac. And thank you Martinez family for the rotary tool, the backyard, and the food. Awesome. Binding material that I used was a 0 .090 by 0 .250 from Stu Mac. The binding technique that I used was a acetone and tape. The acetone was from Home Depot. The orange tape was from Stu Mac. The scraper that I used here is a furniture scraper. Uh, got it from Amazon and uh, really easy to use just to uh, flatten out with the uh, 400 grit sandpaper. Took time doing that. For the paint, this is a uh, polyurethane water-based paint. One coat every two hours of drying time. So I did 10, 10 coats. It took me like two days doing it. And thank you for Josh and Hinchel for letting me use your backyard. You guys are awesome. After hanging it dry for two weeks, this is the result. It's rough and it needs a lot of wet sanding. I use 400, 800, 1500 to 2500 grit and then buff it with a buffing drill attachment. Still not shiny and then did a lot more buffing now. Look at this, like a mirror. All right, so as you can see right now, I'm trying to pop in this pocket shim, just making sure the tip and that side is not showing up. So I'm just gonna shave it down. This pocket shim will make my neck a little angled up because I have a tunomatic bridge gonna be installed later on in this video. The fit of the neck to the neck pocket was really snug, not tight. The neck is in and all I'm gonna do is uh, screw it down put the uh, neck plate and the screws. That's what it looks like now. Got more work to do. It's time for the alignment of the body hardwares. Make a hole for the truss rod notch. This design sucks. The truss rod is in the pocket of the neck. Now I'm trying to line it all up with the uh, pick guard, pickup cover and the tremolo system. Trying to make sure everything is lined up because this is the hardest part because one wrong hole will be very painful. That's what she said. So now I'm marking my pickup holes, but my phone fell off for some reason. So the drill holes for the pickup cover came out right. Now I'm gonna have to convert the pickup cover from Jazzmaster to a humbucker housing for the uh, Seymour Duncan JB. So I used this Japanese hand hobby saw. For some reason, I went really slow and still it came out right there ugly. I'm gonna link down below a template that I used for the conversion for the humbucker. And here my girl is helping me out with the uh, control cavity, pickup cavity and uh, pick guard shielding everything up. Really did a good job, thank you baby. So now I'm wiring everything up to the uh, volume pot, which is a uh, CTS push-pull pot, 500K. That's a uh, Tone Pro's input jack too. Shove everything in there before I install the pick guard and the strings. I was supposed to put a volume knob, but there are like $12 more than the um, tone knob. So I did a little modification in this. 
but still it will function as a volume knob so installed the pick guard right there almost done so I use Hosco knot file the bridge and the knot lined it up set it up tune it that's it there you go guys so before I show any video clips and audio clips from this guitar I just want to say thank you to my great buddy Joshua de las Alas for these photos man for all the cleans and for all the gains I'll be using a JCA 50 head by Jet City together with a close back 2x12 orange mic with SM7B straight to my interface no EQ and no effects on post Thank you.